everyone so today I'm filming my very first YouTube video Yay! it's really really exciting um, I've been wanting to do YouTube videos for a while now but I just never thought that I would actually do it until one day about last week I just brought a camera and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it what's the worst that could possibly happen so this is going to be my very first YouTube video today and what I'm doing for it is my everyday makeup routine. So what I'm wearing right here is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So I hope you guys really like it and I'm going to be posting more videos when I can. I'm not working full time anymore so I'm going to have time to film these videos now hopefully. So I hope you really guys, I hope you guys really like them. And give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks guys, I hope you like it. See you later. All right, so I'm just brushing my hair and flipping it over, getting it all out of my face. Which, don't like messy hair when it's in your face when you're trying to do makeup, it's not very fun. So I'm just fixing my hair up. I am grabbing my BB Cream Garnier Skin Perfector. I am applying it all over my face and rubbing it in. So it's all even. I don't know if I really like this BB Cream at the moment. I've been using it for a while, but I find when I wear it um, most days that it makes my skin go oily. I'm now putting on Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer, the 25 hour one. I'm just going to put that all in like I did with the BB cream. Wrapping it all in. Next, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. It goes with the primer. It's, they're the same brand and type. Um, I think the shade that I have is in Ivory. Oh, not Ivory. It's like the darkest one you can get, which I kind of regret getting because I got it when I was really tanned, but now my... I'm not as tanned anymore because I haven't been to the beach in a while. So I find that it's actually a bit darker for my skin at the moment. So I'm going to go buy another foundation that's the same colour as my natural skin when I don't have a tan. And I'm just applying that all with a grotty little sponge that I have. I really need to buy a beauty blender or a proper foundation brush. But I just haven't got around to doing it yet. I'm just rubbing that all in over my nose, my cheeks, my face, my forehead, making sure it's blended into my neck. I'm then getting my Rimmel Cover Me Concealer, Hide the Blemish Concealer, except I've actually run out and there's nothing left in the product, so not much of it's actually going on to my face at the moment. I need to buy a new concealer as well. It sounds like I have to buy all this new stuff, but I kind of do, but yeah, I just really need a new concealer. I'm thinking of getting um, the, I think it's the Maybelline one, and it's like the one that lasts all day, or the Adri one, with the one with the sponge. I don't know yet. I've also heard that the NARS concealer is really good as well, but I don't really want to go spending that much money on a concealer when I can get it for like... 20 bucks somewhere else. Then I'm using my concealer brush by Nude to pat and blend in the concealer so it doesn't crease. I have quite a few brushes from Nude. I brought the little kit that you can get from the drugstore and they're really good brushes. I really like them. Um, and they're all natural and yeah, they're really good. I like them. 
I think about only five came in the um, kit, but they're good brushes. They're ones that you use like every time you're using makeup, so it's really good. I'm now getting my pressed powder by Australis. I had it upside down. Whoops. Um, and then getting my Kabuki brush by Noon and applying that, patting it on and applying it all over my face so it sets my foundation and my concealer. Just patting it all under my eyes and on my eyelids. I also find when I use this foundation it doesn't make I mean, when I use this powder, it doesn't make my foundation look as dark as what it is, which is good. I'm then getting... Uh, what am I getting? I'm getting my brow powder by Ardell in the shade Torp. And I'm going to be applying that with a angled brush by Nude, a small one. I really like this powder. I actually haven't used any other brow products before because I like this brow product so much. I think it's a really good product. Um, I know a lot of people don't like their eyebrows filled in a lot at the front, but I really like it. I like to see that like there's a line, like a strong line there. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put it the line and then I'm going to fill in the top, fill in the bottom. And then I'm going to do it to the other side as well, make sh making sure that it's even. I reckon doing your eyebrows is all about a really good brush, and this angled brush is really good. It makes it have a very sharp line, even with powder. Then I'm going to fill in some more. But then I'm going to fill in the ends, so i got a nice sharp point I'm doing it on the other side as well making it look all pretty <laughs> Then I'm just grabbing some of my pressed powder again and just getting the sponge that it comes with in the packet and just lightly putting some foundation under my eyes so it straightens up the lines a bit more. Then grabbing my Max Factor Contouring Bronzer. It's a matte one so it's really good for contouring. I only started doing this probably about a couple of weeks ago and I really like it. I squeeze my um, normal blush brush so it's kind of a thin line because I don't have a proper contouring brush so I just use that and then I make sure that it's in line with my cheekbone and the line into my mouth and I'm just rubbing that all in so I get that strong line of contour. I'm doing that on the other side as well You can see, you can see the line a lot better now. So you can see that shadowy effect. I'm then grabbing my bronzer by Boe. I only got that bronzer for two dollars at um, Big W, and it's the best bronzer, especially for only two dollars. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, like I'm buying this bronzer, and I just haven't got any other bronzers since because I just think it's really good. It's a shimmery bronzer, so it's got some shimmer in it, but I think it works really well. Yes, and I'm blending that all into my cheeks, up into my temples and my forehead and under my neck and my chin. I'm then grabbing my Scandal Eyes colour by Rimmel. It doesn't actually say what shade of colour it is, but it's a nudie, shimmery, beige colour. It's really good. I also use this for a eyeshadow primer as well when I'm putting on some dramatic eyeshadow. But for when I'm just going out to work or out to the shops or something where I don't really want to do too much, I just put it on my eyelids and then rub it in with my finger. 
And then I'm grabbing my Cover Girl Long Lash Blast Mascara. I'm just putting that all over my eyelashes. I don't usually put too much um, mascara on when I'm going to work. So I'm just putting on a little bit. When I'm going out um, to dinner or something, I'll put on probably a lot more coats of mascara. For this one, I'm just putting on one pretty big thick coat. But if I was going out somewhere, then I'd put on probably like two, three coats. But I'm not going anywhere special today, so I'm just going to do one. just putting that all over and on my bottom lashes I love putting mascara on my bottom lashes I think it makes my eyes look so much bigger because I find that I have quite small eyes but when I put on mascara on the bottom I find that it opens my eyes up a lot more and then getting my liquid eyeliner which I'm pretty sure I got from Big W as well for only like two dollars and it's the best liquid eyeliner that I use I always use liquid eyeliner and every day, even for if I'm going to work, I always like to do a nice winged eyeliner. Don't know why, I just always have. I've always been doing it ever since I was at school and everything. I really find that it opens up my eyes a lot more. It's kind of like my thing. And everyone's like, oh, your eyeliner always looks so good. And I'm like, oh, thanks. It's not that hard to do. Um, so I'm just applying that on the top, my top lid closest to the lashes and I kind of just flick it out if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but I make sure it's all on my top lid and then I flick it out and then I get my corner and I flick it out as well I don't know what just happened there kind of like lag um, and then I'm doing it to the my other eye as well as you can see see how I'm flicking it and then I open up my eye in a second I should open up my eye yep and then I just kind of go in from the corner of my eye so it's all filled in and there's no little gaps or like skin that you can see which is good and then just to finish it off I'm getting my Nivea lip balm and I'm just gonna put that all over my lips so they don't go all dry and gross and that's my look done and then I'm just going to take out my hair and brush it all back down so it doesn't look all gross and then I'm ready to go once I've finished brushing my hair ta -da! all done <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the tutorial that I just showed you and I'll see you guys another time. See you later.